purchase a digital file from our website, it's going to come in the PSD file format and it's going to also come zipped. On my computer, when I double click a PSD file format, I have it automatically set to open up in Photoshop. One of the reasons why I really like this format is because I can save everything in layers for you so that you can decide what you want to use and how you want to use it. Here I'm selected on the Move tool, so when I click on a particular individual item, I can move it around. And that's because each one is on its own layer. You will need a program to be able to unzip the file so that you can use the PSD format. In my case, if I right-click on my zip file folder that I've already downloaded from the website, I have a 7-zip program already loaded onto my computer. I generally go down to Extract here, and in which case when I click it, it's going to unzip the file folder, and it's going to now have the actual file that I'll need to work with. And this is an example of the file that you will now take into a program that can work with PSD files, for example, Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or the free program GIMP. If you don't have a zip program already on your computer, then you can go in onto the internet and just simply type in how to open zip files in Windows 7, which in my case is the computer that I'm using, and you will, you will get a lot of uh, ideas. And if you're on a Mac, you just simply go and type how to open zip files on Mac, again, to get ideas, and download a zip file. If you need to find a program that can work with PSD files, either need to purchase one or get one of the programs available for free, you can go and do a search. Here I've typed in program to open PSD files on a Mac, and you see some results that you can check out, or program to open PSD files on Windows. Here's a nice website with some links for files that can open PSD. This is from fileinfo.com extension PSD. Here's a little bit of information about it. And then here's some links to some programs. For example, Windows. I use Adobe Photoshop. And I use Adobe Photoshop Elements, only in my case I think I've got 11. I'm not on the most current version. And I also use GIMP, which is free. For Mac OS, again, there's a Photoshop version. They've got Elements. They've got GIMP, as well as a lot of different other programs. If you're on a Linux computer, you can use GIMP. And then here's a web version. And then here's an Android version. And there may be other ones out there, but this is just a an overview from fileinfo.com on some ideas on how to open a PSD file. I'm going to click on the GIMP link, for example, and then here it gives me the option to visit the website. And now you can download the free GIMP program in order to open your PSD file. In the next tutorials, I'll show you how to actually create a pressed flower picture using different flower and foliage and moving them around on the background to create something that you can give as a keepsake or you can print it out and you can just use your creativity to create whatever designs you want to use and it will all be based on real flowers. These are Baronia and these have been pressed and they press best in a profile format. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.